guys, I'm back to make another video. So seeing as it is almost December, it is time for my November favorites. Yay. So yeah, I guess let's get started. I would just like to point out, I can't believe that December's almost here. I'm freaking out a little bit. Like, I'm pretty positive, like yesterday, it was September. But it's not. It's November, and I'm like... The only good thing is, there's like 20-some days till Christmas. So that's always good, Christmas. Christmas is awesome. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So my first favorite this month are my favorite songs. My favorite songs include all of One Direction's new album called Midnight Memories. It is spectacular. It is the best album, in my opinion, that they've done so far. And it has such a, like, a different sound than all the rest of them. And I really, 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 really like it. <laughs> Um, my f more favorite songs, like, I love all of them, obviously, but, like, my top couple songs are, like, You and I, Through the Dark, and Happily. I really love all three of those songs. Next, we have all of JB's songs that came out this month, including Roller Coaster, All Bad, and Alone, which you only heard if you bought tickets to go to see his movie, which has not actually come out in Canada yet, but I listened to the song anyways because YouTube is a good place. And my last favorite song is Everybody Talks by Neon Trees. I'm pretty sure this song is kind of old, or it's old or ish but I really like this song. Like, I just kind of re-kind of discovered it a little while ago, and I was like... I am going to make a playlist of all my favorite songs and favorite videos, which will be coming up later. And I'll put the links to those playlists in the description so you guys can go listen to them because I'm not allowed to play them in the video because YouTube gets mad because copyright. So yeah, that will be in the description down there if you guys want to go listen to all these songs or watch all my favorite videos, which I will be listing right now. Some of the huge chunk of my favorite videos for this month include... Feel it's not on fire five because those are always always amazing like cat whiskers guys you can't deny the cat whiskers um and the photo booth challenge which dan and phil also did oh my goodness <laughs> i've watched a large majority of the photo booth challenges that have came out like i watched jenna marbles the very first one and i've watched troy's and casper's and Marcus marcus and alfie's and pewdiepie and martyrs i've watched a lot of them but Dan and Phil's was by far the best one. By far, it made me laugh the most. I was pretty positive. I almost peed myself while I was watching that. Next is a song called City of Angels by 30 Seconds to Mars. And I know this is a song, but it's like a video at the same time. So I put it onto the videos category. Because I really like the video because like the meaning behind the video is saying like what happens when you move to a big city and stuff like that. It's not always what you think it's going to be. It's not this big glamorous thing like it's lots of work and stuff like that and people have fallen down and stuff like that and had to pick themselves back up which I really like because I plan on moving to Los Angeles which is the city of angels so yeah it was kind of an inspiring kind of a video next two favorite videos are by Emma Blackery she's really awesome just as a side note I feel if I met Emma Blackery me and her would get along we kind of have almost the same personality I feel ish so I feel as though if I were to ever meet her, we would get on really well. Uh, my favorites are A Guide to the Friend Zone, which she just made, which was awesome. Because if you're a guy and you think the friend zone is a real thing, please go watch this video. Even if you're a girl. Please. It's just, it explains everything so well. And you're just like, thank, I was just like, thank you, Emma. Thank you for saying what no one else has said yet. And then on the same kind of topic is that her song, My Thoughts on Google+. Plus. Oh, that song, I listened to it, and I was just like, thank you, Emma. You are a god. <laughs> oh, it was just, it was funny. My last two favorite videos are by Zoe and Louise, or Sprinkle of Glitter, and Zoella, a whole bunch of numbers. Um, they were the Household Makeup Challenge, and the Best Friend Challenge, another, like, a version of the Best Friend Challenge. <sighs> the Household Makeup Challenge, though, was so, 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 so funny. I... Oh, I almost pee laughing. Just, uh, you just have to go watch it. It's hard to kind of explain if you haven't watched it, but you need to watch it. And then the best friend one was pretty funny too. We'll do favorite purchases. I have lots of actually like makeup y clothes kind of purchases this month, which is pretty exciting. Um, the first two clothing items that I bought, I bought them off Hot Topic, which, by the way, is an amazing store. I love Hot Topic so much. It's like the best store ever. The clothes are kind of expensive and the shipping is kind of expensive to be honest with you. But it's really worth it in the end I think. Because their clothes are really good quality. I bought some other stuff from them. I bought my Galaxy Space Leggings which I've 
mentioned in other, I've shown them in other videos before from Hot Topic. So, the very first shirt that I got was this Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. I absolutely love it. It's just awesome, and because Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite, favorite, favorite movie of all time. So I just thought it was super, super cute. And um, my next favorite sweater, which is also from Hot Topic, is my BMO sweater. Uh, oh, it's so cute. If you watch Adventure Time, you will 110% understand why this is awesome. But it's so, so cute. And it's reversible, which is pretty awesome. You can reverse it. You get kind of like this pattern. Oops, upside down. I don't know if I'm ever going to reverse it because I just think that BMO is just far too cute to be reversible. And I feel like this would be really awkward on your skin. It would feel weird and it would be cold. You know? You know? You got me. Uh, next we'll jump into the makeup favorites. I've bought lots of makeup this month. First is my new favorite mascara duo. Like I put on them both. This is the double ended mascara from Sleek and the Lash Out Butterfly from L'Oreal. I put the white one on top on my top lashes and then put the black side on my bottom lashes and then use this to go over top of the white. And I think it looks super, super good and it like makes your lashes quite long because the white does a really good job of like lengthening your lashes. I opened the wrong side. Um, <laughs> it does a really good job of lengthening your lashes and stuff like that. So I just thought it was super cool. Um, and then this one, this is the one everyone has been talking about. If you watch any makeup guru related people, you will probably have heard them talking about this mascara. Just because the wand, like the wand is super cool. Like I use both sides of it. And it's really good. Like it's actually worth the hype. And I mean that was the reason I bought it. Because I saw everyone talking about it. And I'm like I gotta try this. So I did. Um, next is, I've always wanted to try gel eyeliner. But it's always quite expensive. Like it's not, well it's not quite expensive. But I, it's usually like at least $10. So you usually don't feel like it's worth it. Because I'd never tried it before, so I'm like, I don't want to spend $10 on a product that I might not end up liking. But this one, the Rimmel London Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, was on sale for $4.50 at Shoppers. So I'm like, that's more than half off. I have to try it now. So, yeah, it's the one that like it comes with a little brush in the top. And can I just say, I've forever fallen in love with gel eyeliner. And I bought this like two weeks ago. Maybe a little bit more, and I've pretty much been wearing it every single day since. And the very last of my favorite purchases is the Color Tattoo by iStudio 24 Hour uh, Pomegranate Punk. I have this one in Bad to Be Bronze, and I'm, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Um, and I love it. Like, I absolutely love, 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 love it. Love it. So I was like, okay, well, I need to pick up a different color. And I figured since it was fall, I would pick up this one, because it's like a very nice reddish color. I'm just kind of... And you really don't need a lot. They sm And they smudge really, like they um, blend really well. So that one's there. there. It, this lighting's not really doing it justice. It's a lot more red. It looks really brown and kind of ugly there. But it's a lot more red and more pretty than it looks there. And last but not least are my favorite memories because I have a few of them this month. First, this is not a favorite memory. This is just a memory that I'll probably never forget. If you live in Alberta, or in Canada, or I think in most places it's starting to snow, but in Alberta, it has snowed shit tons. It has snowed a lot, and it snowed a lot all at one time, so there wasn't any, like, the plows and stuff weren't ready to plow roads, and it was just a mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. And I got stuck. Twice. <laughs> twice I got stuck. Had no idea how to get out. I was, like, sitting in my car, like, shit, I'm stuck. And I, uh... It was not good. Both times I got unstuck without any help, just so you know, but it was a traumatic experience and I hope to never experience again, even though I feel as I probably will. My favorite memory is the One Direction 7 hour live stream that just happened on last Saturday. And yes, I did sit in my room for almost the whole entire, almost 8 hours. I would have, but my parents made me go eat. So I had, I missed the ending, but I went back on YouTube and rewatched the ending. Yeah, it was amazing. Everything about it was good, and I'm just excited about it. And hopefully the Canada tour dates are coming out soon, because the U.S. tour dates were just released a couple days ago. So hopefully those are coming out too soon, and hopefully they come to where I live so I can be happy and cry, but still be happy, but cry some more and be more happy. But yeah, that is everything 
for my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like in that description down below and subscribe in that corner if you want to see more of my videos in the future. And if you want to see the video that I made on my collab channel, it was Addictions Week, so I talked all about my addictions, which included these beautiful boys. Um, and yeah, the link to that will be in the description below, as well as all of my social media and my cloud channel is Twitter. It will all be in the description down below, so make sure you go look down there. Also, the links to the playlists that I will have made will be down there also. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye!